Hello, hello! This is gonna be some Arch Acadia in the jungle. Health pot, totem, machete, pasta, primavera. Mm. Taking it out. Taking it out to dinner. So this is unique. It looks like we have a uh, LeBlanc in the bottom. Mm. So we definitely have a lot of pick ability. Um, let's see. They have a stronger tank composition with Alistar and Scion. So getting a pick um, would be really nice. Like that would be like what we would. But not all in. It's the way I see it. Jax can uh, jump in on someone, try to kill them. I can freeze people up. LeBlanc is really a, an assassin. Living in fear is not living at all. So us, so us getting ahead in the early game is fairly important. I will rule. Because once one of our guys can start assassinating these people. This because it's common for people to disrupt a Sejuani while he is gleefully farming. Da, 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 da. So you can see the the heavy hands taking effect. Helping out with uh, stuns. Now Tristana has low damage early game. Show them out to me. It's like Alistar just uh, got in too far. And with a LeBlanc and a. A LeBlanc and uh, Graves in lane, that's basically a double kill for me. So, he, uh, he, uh, Alistar was just, uh, wow, did, uh, wow. They're really taking advantage of that, uh, Double poke lane. I'm gonna go back. Get Cinder Hulk. Get some boots. Head on out.
going to soak up some experience here. You can actually control the direction of the scuttles by being in a... So if he's going this way, and if you get on the other side, he'll go the opposite way. Which is definitely good when... Um, okay, we're gonna... Mark that they're not there. Say it again. An enemy has been slain. I will not touch Okay, so this game is going well for us. But Sejuani loves to farm. He's the farm. Like Jax is uh, getting up there. Take care of the tower. Looks like uh, Scion dealt out the damage. I've got some heavy hands to work with. I don't want to get into a fight with right on. It takes Cyan a little while without smite. Top side to farm. I'm not too concerned about dragon right now. The cold does Even if they manage to pick it up. Uh, looks like I'll have to step in for mid. Be able to push it. All right. And I thought I thought I saw some type of action. At least she might be she may be able to get out alive kind of thing. They will be my it's a 
So Fiora is going to be trouble later on. Fight or we go back up. She's just been uh, killing Jax over and over, but Jax is uh, good at taking towers down. Quite useful. Oh, okay, Cyan's about where I am. Alright, so we're gonna go back. Well. The cold does not forgive. Alright, so it looks like we have to, uh. Yeah, that's gonna come down. Killing spree. Mm -hmm. So we're going to warn that Brand is coming shot. down. They don't follow too much. Living in fear is not Though we didn't have a, uh, a, uh, I, I, I couldn't, uh, we didn't have a smite. I didn't have it in my heart to tell them I didn't have a smite. And we're going to finish the farm on top side. Now that I think about it, it might have been prudent to save uh, my ultimate for when it was about to be smited. We angled, uh, as such, Wani, we angled in such a way that it would, uh, it wouldn't uh, go over there. We would want it to go over here. A chance that Fiora or somebody was hanging out in that area is pretty strong. So I'm thinking, da -da 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 -da. yeah. Boots, we're gonna be going. Well, Fiora is the strongest. Yeah. 
Let's get Injitabi. And... Let's do Warden's Mail. Upgrade Trinket. Vision. So I think, uh... Did Jax get taken care of? I think he did. Yeah, there he is. Dominating. Pain is nothing. Killing Her bot lane is doing great. And Jax is the kind of champ that it's okay to not do as well on. Um, I'm actually going to head towards has destroyed a turret. We fight while cowards talk. Or this is because uh Fiora most likely is gonna look to steal some of my farm. I don't want that. We took an ultimate from Brand. And we got a tower. We bow to no one. See that, huh? All right. They will be. All right, so I'm going to push bottom lane. up to the tower. Wow! We're gonna be labeling this the sleepy game. Doo doo doo. So three assists. One assist. I 
I know I helped with the brand thing, but other than that, I don't remember assisting with anything. <laughs> um, sadly, uh, their Alistar made too many wrong moves. I feel, I feel, and um, Jax, even though he lot he was going, he lot was losing a lot. Um, he could still farm, uh, proactively. Um, Brand looks like two deaths, so their 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 best chance was Fiora, but Fiora has a hard time uh, carrying, especially as a full tank or full damage. Um. Mhm. Mm yeah. Scion was going. Uh, he needed to be more proactive. In well, that's a that's a hard question. If you got bot lane losing, there's a chance that you might die. And there was, he was probably helping out as much as he could, but uh, but yeah. So let's uh, look some itemization. We're going base uh, all damage or all tank. Got Ninja Tabi for the Fiora because she would do the most damage of anybody, and uh, Tristana. That's that's fine also. And looks like Tristana was going for the build wa bilge water. That might be a large reason why she was dying a lot. Um, there's no reason why she should be getting bilge water with our team composition. Not only that, like especially our team composition because I'm the only person with health. The rest of them are very bursty. Um, so she, that's an item, that's a big item problem. If you don't have like IE at some portion, of the, you know, it makes things very difficult. Um, the only times when you, I mean, an IE is such like a first item you want to build on Tristana too. Uh, getting the Bilge Water is going to cut down her damage significantly. And there's no there's no big reason why she should have this. The only time I think that she should pick this, <laughs> if the whole team was a bunch of tanks, and you know even then you'd probably get IE first. So Jax, uh, pretty simple Blade of the Room King first. Um, you can do something like you can do something like. Um, uh, Trinity Force earlier, um, that might get more damage out for Fiora, but the Blade of the Room King is probably best for Jax because of his consecutive hits and his ultimate, stuff like that. Um, Fiora probably knew how to react to him, and that's why he died so many times in lane. Um, with parry and using the slow and getting out of uh, counter, counter stance. And Gray's cleaned up in lane. He had another BF sword. He had Infinity Edge, and he was, looks like he was building. Um, um, actually, I kinda, I'm not sure. With long sword and a BF. Um, but the Infinity Edge alone makes his uh, makes his build just very crazy um, compared to the damage they they can pull off. ADC. When the ADC gets a wrong item, that means mid game is pretty much gone, and losing early game. And when mid game comes around, how do you come back from that? You're so your your turrets are gone. You know, if only the the other team the other team was just being a bunch of jokesters and it came back and bit them on the butt. Would that really change? So Diana looks like she went Rabidons. This helps with her shield, and the shield helps prevent damage. That's uh, substantial damage from Brand. Um, and it looks like Diana went five zero and zero. So she was uh, she was good at avoiding uh, Brand's stuns, his his moves. Um, it could have been that when she got her full combo that she could damage him um, from afar. And then event and when she got to level 6 that she could uh, use her ultimate and follow him. That could have been how it goes, but I, um, I'm not sure. She got teleport, so that seems like the case. Usually if you're looking for a level 3 kill or something earlier, you take ignite. But this seems appropriate. And 
double teleport. That's intimidating. Um, LeBlanc. She was a st stupendous support. I imagine that she used her bind as often as possible and grave just whittled away the uh, poor Tristana. Um, and with uh, a bind that you can utilize with LeBlanc and the damage that comes with it, double poke lane is deadly versus Tristana because Tristana is so weak early game. Tristana, like I said, uh, this incorrect item cost him mid game, and it would take him a very long time to come back with proper items. Um, Fiora, the most fit on their team. Uh, standard stuff. Phage coming, the second item for uh, some survivability, some health, and the speed that you get. Uh, basic attack, grant 20. 20 movement speed for 2 seconds, nice stuff. Alistar died plenty of times. I remember he died pretty early on. He should have gotten... Um, hmm. Boots of Mobility, probably not what he should have been going for. And a double poke lane, I would have been... You know, it's it, that'd be that's just so difficult. Um, because Alistar, you want to headbutt people. So in this case... He would have to be not. He'd have to play um, defensively and make sure that they don't stun Tristana up, kind of thing. Um, that's how we'd have he should have played that lane. Because so I think at one point in time he, they were probably trying to go aggressive, um, but that you, it's hard to play aggressive when you have Tristana, who's weak early game, and you got a double poke um, on the opposite team. Scion, um, looks like he picked two kills up. He was probably doing his job correctly, but his bot lane was, you know, just overwhelmed. Uh, standard stuff, uh, health and uh, armor and cooldown reduction for Scion, so he's a late game animal. Crazy man. And Bran, more Nebron, more Nebron, thing um, for cooldown. Um, as for stuns and whatnot, but not uh, not this big item like here, like Robinon's Death Cap. But of course, she could afford this kind of stuff because she's five and zero. Oh. All right, Archicadia. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Okay, bye.